Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wahabakachodash, Yahweh, which is the one and true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Ashai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much this lesson is going to be uh, titled as um, Let Go From The Mortal Thoughts. All right, and you know, this hit my spirit just now, so I decided to do a quick hit on this. This is um, 2nd Edges 14, 14. It says, let go from the mortal thoughts. Con, let go from the mortal thoughts, right? What that word mortal, it means death, all right? So you want to let go from mortal thoughts. If you would Jake, as this is for example, you Jake that have anxieties, panic attacks, depression, right you're stressed out right whatever you're going through is 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 just holding you down you having a doubtful spirit right you having um you know all these uh things that you're dealing with mentally well the scriptures tell us to let go from that so you want to let go from mortal thoughts read again it says let go from the mortal thoughts you got to rebuke these spirits all right there's demons that mess with you in the, in, the, in the, while you're in the ministry all right just because you're in the truth don't think that you're not going to deal with any spiritual attacks. You're going to be attacked. You're going to be attacked on a high level. <clears throat> and the Lord will send Satan after you. So the Lord will allow Satan to mess with you. All right. You got these demons that mess with you too. They mess with your thoughts. You know, they mess with your mind. They have your mind going through all these different thoughts. You got to rebuke those spirits. You got to rebuke those demons, those spirits. All right, because all that is is, a, is basically a, a temptation, a trial of a furnace of adversity that you got to go through. Because not everybody's going through the same trials and tribulations. You know, some brothers go through things spiritually. Some brothers go through things mentally. And some, some brothers go through things physically. You know, the money, exactly, whatever it is, finances, right? The Lord knows where to try us individually in, our, in, in this truth. Let's read again. 2 Edris 14, 14. Let go from the immortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of men, put off now the weak nature. And that's the weak nature, these mortal thoughts. All right, we got to rebuke these spirits. You got to rebuke, you got to rebuke the angelic Satan. All right, you got to rebuke Sh Shatan because he, he likes to mess with us. That's what his job is, to try us, to mess with us. All right, you got to rebuke these spirits. You got to rebuke Shatan. All right, that's how you say Satan in the Hebrew is Shatan. You got to rebuke him because he will mess with you, you know. Let's read again. This is a uh, second... Ezra 14, 14. It says, let go from the mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of men, and put off now the weak nature. Verse 15, set, it says, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. So whatever you're going through in your mind, or spiritually or physically, whatever it is that's that's keeping you vexed, that's irritating you, give it to the Lord. Ask the Lord to deliver you out of that situation. And I'm speaking for myself first and foremost. All right? Because you're going to go through things in, the, in this truth. All right? So you got to cast off the mortal thoughts. You got to cast off, you know, uh, <clears throat> these wicked spirits, these demons, right? You got to ask the Lord to give you a sound mind, give peace to your mind, right? You got to cry out to the Lord, you know, give all your issues and situations to Yahweh Shemashai so he can deliver you out of that situation. You got to call upon the name of the Lord. Don't just think you can just take everything on on your own. No, you got to cry out to the Lord so he can deliver you out of that situation. <laughs> so whatever that's heavy onto, your, onto you, give it to the Lord. It says, and haste thee to flee from these times. So, right, you want to give all your um, your problems that you're dealing with on a daily basis, whatever it is, situation, or temptation, you want to give it to the Lord. Or right, you want to give it to Yahweh Bashim Ashai. He's going to handle it to you. But you got to be fully persuaded in your mind to know that, to understand that. All right? And I'm going to get out uh, St. John. This is St. John. Let me get that out for edification purposes. This is uh, St. John 14 and 1. This is uh, St. John chapter 14 and verse 1. And let's see what the Messiah said. This is uh, St. John 14 and 1. It says, let not your heart be troubled. And that word heart is meaning your mind. Let not your mind be troubled. Because there's a lot of things that troubles, trouble our minds, man. Right? These women, 
right? If you had a, if you have a woman, right, your woman, you know, or the, you may be separated from this woman, all right? It may be anything. It may be on a plantation. It, it can be anything. Whatever it is, Yahweh Shai is telling us. He says, this is St. John 14 and 1, let not your heart be troubled. Let not your mind be troubled. Whatever you're going through, let not that trouble you. It says, ye believe in Yahweh, believe also in me. If you believe in Yahweh, also believe in him. Believe in Yahweh Bashim Ashai. Give it to Yahweh Bashim Ashai. Cry out to Yahweh Bashim Ashai. He will deliver you out of that situation. But you got to be fully persuaded in your own mind to know that. This is 1 Peter 5 and 7. It says, cast all your care upon him, for he care for you. See? Cast all your cares upon the Lord. Whatever you're going through in this mortal body, cry out to Yahweh Bashimashai. Give it to Yahweh Bashimashai. He will deliver you out of the situation. All right? He's, he's the only one that can help us in our situations, the things that we're dealing with on a daily basis. All right? You got to cry out to the Lord. He will deliver you out of that situation. That's why he said in John 14 and 1, let not your heart, meaning your mind, let not your mind be troubled. All right? So you gotta you gotta cry out to the Lord and, and ask the Lord to deliver you out of that situation, man. He's the only one that can help us. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it there with that. I just wanted to do a quick hit. So cast all your cares upon Yahweh by Hashem Al Shai. That's who you want to give your. Uh, that's who you want to cry out to when you when you're dealing with the things that you're dealing with. So I'm in it there with that. I want to give our honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Yahweh Chachodash, Yahweh, which is the only true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his only true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole leg. And shalom to you, sincere brother, scatter abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I'm the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Till next time I say, Ababa Ba, shalom.